All right, so this is going to be a video talking about what I do believe the one catch is going to be with Ryzen 3000 and just Zen 2 um, products in general. So to start off this video, let's talk about how everyone seems to think there's going to be a catch with Ryzen uh, 3000 slash Zen 2. Let's call it Zen 2. Everyone seems to think, like, hey, what do we know? We know that from the rumors that there's probably going to be a 15 to 25% IPC increase, uh, that we're going to be scaling all the way up to like 125 to 140 watts with 16 cores, that we're going to get higher clock speeds, probably 10 to 20% higher clock speeds than before, and that the prices aren't going to be horrible. Basically, the rumors point to... 20% higher IPC, double the cores, 20% higher clocks, and the prices basically are just slightly higher than before uh, with the 1000 series launch. Basically, we're talking about the 9900 being a mid to low end CPU almost overnight. And everyone says, how can this be true? One of these things can't be true. There's no way it can have this IPC in a higher clock speed. There's no way they could keep, you know, it below 150 watts with 16 cores and this much performance. You know, what's the catch? I think all of those things probably are true. We're going to get double the cores, 20% higher IPC, 20% higher clocks. And I don't think AMD is going to charge, relatively speaking, an arm and a leg. Don't get me wrong. I think they're going to charge over $500 for that 16 core, but that's more than reasonable uh, price of admission for the performance you're getting. Uh, it's the, just the absolute ultimate gaming chip that can um, do non-gaming tasks as well as probably Intel's current $2,000. Uh, well, Xeons and i9s. I don't think that any of those are going to be a catch. The catch is going to be meeting demand. So let's talk about this. The real problem is going to be that everyone's going to want these processors. And in fact, it's going to be made even worse by the, the fact that Epic comes first. There's rumors going around right now that people aren't really talking about that AMD might already have over 100 design wins with Epic. That would point to AMD doubling, tripling, quadrupling server market share this year, quite possibly. And if that happens, that's awesome for AMD and their shareholders, right? But desktop does not come before Epic. And the catch is going to be, a, in my opinion, very, very staggered launch. And just to illustrate what I mean by Epic comes first, let's do some math. So if you sell an Epic chip for $5,000, oh, they can probably get away with selling these 64-core ones for $10,000, and I think they will. But let's just make it easy math. $5,000 for 64 cores, let's say. Well, that's about $78 per core that AMD is making. What about for a 16 core sold for $500? $31 per core. AMD wants to save these chiplets for Epic. And trust me, the same chiplets going into Epic are going into these Ryzen chips. So if they have over 100 design wins with Epic, they will be putting their best 8 core yields with the best voltage um, bidding to Epic first. And that's the catch again. The catch is going to be... Don't be surprised if in, let's see, it's April, if in two months from now, you see articles about HP and Dell and Microsoft or something receiving big deliveries of thousands of Epic 64 core, 48 core, you know, whatever chips. And yet we haven't gotten a single review yet out. We don't see Newegg selling any of these 16 cores on desktop. There might be this weird period where Epic's up and running and fine um, for months before Ryzen 3000 comes out. And it's simply because AMD has almost no competition in desktop, relatively speaking, right now. They're selling a 2700X for half the cost of a 9900K, and they're making good profits on it, selling fine. They don't need to get there right away. Epic comes first. And so I think there's a very likely chance that we're going to see all the 8-core CCXs sent to Epic. They'll launch 12-core and 6-core first. Um, it's 12, 6, and quad-core first 
on desktop and then start rolling out the eight core APUs that because they do need eight core dies for that and then they'll start rolling out the 16 cores because frankly that 12 core is going to probably abolish just demolish Comet Lake on its own they won't even need the 16 cores and in fact and this is where I it's not really gouging it is but AMD might shift their product lineup too. The current rumor, right, was like five hundred dollars for a sixteen core, four hundred for a twelve, um, three hundred dollars for the eight core, and two hundred dollars for the well, also eight core, and then like like a hundred and twenty dollars for six cores. There's a chance they might keep selling quad cores with eight threads at a hundred dollars. They might bump up the six cores to. Um, Two hundred dollars and the eight cores to like three hundred and fifty dollars still, and then sell the twelve core for five hundred before they roll out the sixteen core. They might bump everything up one price bracket to make up for the fact that they can't release them all in time too. So, what's the catch? No, I think it's going to have these crazy five gigahertz clock speeds over sixteen cores under one hundred and fifty watts with a twenty percent gaming, well, ten to twenty percent gaming IPC boost. These will be gaming monsters, rendering monsters. I don't think there's a catch. I think the catch is it's just going to take a very staggered launch, and they they might bump everything up a price bracket. That's the catch is AMD's going to have a hard time meeting demand with how amazing these products are going to be. All right. Uh, tell me what you think below. Frankly, my thought is I'll just get the 12 core. I'm be perfectly happy with that thing, you know, but I'm curious if it would really change. Like, I'll be honest with yourself. If they're selling this 12 core at five gigahertz for 500 and then they don't release the 16 core right away, if you need to upgrade CPUs, are you really not going to get that 12 core? I think you probably are, right? And if you can wait for the 16 core, you could have waited longer anyways, probably, right? Well, please tell me what you think below in the comments. Like, subscribe, please share these videos. Support me on Patreon. That's what gets me, um, that's really where the funding is. It's not from YouTube's ads or anything like that. All right, thank you.